Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look at the Koenig snow tire chains here today on our 2021 Ford Bronco. So if you guys are looking for a decent set of chains to go ahead and give you a lot of traction control, these are going to be a great little setup for yourself. One thing I like about them, they are self-tensioning and they're really, really easy to actually get installed on here. So next to 12 Pro, Definitely will go to, in my mind, for a host of different um, vehicles, and I really do like it here on the Bronco. Now, we're not getting that aggressive of a square link, though, is the only thing for me. So if you do plan on taking out your Bronco in those deep woods and you find you're going to be expecting a little bit of snow and ice that you're going to have to overcome, I might recommend starting to look at some V-Bar options. Those guys are going to be very, very aggressive. They're going to be perfectly suited to a Bronco's needs of chugging through that snow and that ice on the trail and really getting you where you want to go. Now, these are going to be excellent if you find yourself just want to do your standard highway driving, getting around town, making sure you can get those bread and eggs, of course, that we're not being trapped in that winter apocalypse anywhere. Gonna be nice to actually get us there, gonna give us the good traction as well. Now, you are getting a diamond style pattern here. What that means, you're getting constant contact, right? As my hand goes across, I'm getting chain everywhere. So we're not gonna have these hills and valleys like you might start seeing from a ladder style chain. Now those are great. You get that start and stop maneuverability, right? Because you have to overcome them every time. But when you go to make your lefts or your rights, you have to overcome them every time and you're accelerating. So you lose a little bit in your turning radius. So not gonna have that issue with here. And you're still gonna get great traction as you do have those chains that are doing a great job of plowing through that snow and that ice for yourself. Again, the installation of this guy takes no time at all. The manganese nickel alloy on this guy as well makes it very durable. Gonna be standing up to that road salt, which is great. Now with any chain though, we highly recommend doing maintenance, especially in the off season. When you finally go ahead and put these guys away for the time, a little maintenance can go a long way. That way we're not having to buy a chain every new season. These guys can last us for the years to come, which I do like. Now one thing to take note though, we are working here today on 255-70 R16 tires. And I know that the Bronco Bronco actually has a lot of packages out there like the Sasquatch that are going to go ahead and give you way bigger tires. So make sure you are working on this right wheel size. And we do have a fit guide available here at eTrailer.com. So make sure you're inserting that correctly to get the right fit for you. We also do have it here on our rear wheel. That is because we do have a 4x4 drivetrain on the Bronco. So we're going to be okay to throw it on anything. We went ahead and put on the back just like you would a normal truck. And of course, you could find yourself loading a little bit more weight in the back of the Bronco just to give you a little bit more traction control if that's that's something you want to go for. Otherwise, guys, the installation is going to take no time at all. Let's hop to and see how we get these installed. All right, guys, to begin your installation, what we want to do is go ahead and lay out our chains just like chains, just like so. What we're looking for here, any kind of kinks, anything that's going to be holding us up and not making us have a good fit. A lot of times when it is happening, mainly with these guys, your uh, loops get caught in here. All you have to do is really walk that off the end. That's usually the biggest issue I have with these guys. So that's probably what's holding you up. If you guys do have any issues. Otherwise, the big things too, make sure your big elements here are out to the side. And the biggest thing, just going to make sure that we have our soft point of contacts facing us as we are going to be throwing this underneath our wheel. You can see at the front here, we do have our little hard points of contact. We want that away from us. And since we're throwing this underneath our vehicle and bringing it back across, therefore our soft side's going to be facing us, right? So all we need to do, go ahead and bunch these guys up. Go ahead and get that in order. I like keeping them nice and tight here, using my back hand to try to keep them a little bit away from the wheel. That way I can actually grab them on this side and actually get them properly set. Bring my back connection back up and across and start making that first connection. So all we got to do, take our two ends, slot it in like that and allow them to pull and they'll actually hold themselves there. And then we can grab our top connection here. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with our red for now. We may need to walk that back a little bit though, just depending on the fit of this. And then I just kinda, kinda make sure that my chain is seating properly here, making sure it's not getting bunched at the bottom. And there we go. Now that I have that, I can go ahead and place this right in, in here. And that's gonna allow me to really start tightening this up. And that's kinda why I left that red one too, as we do have our self-tensioner on here. That's really nice and secure already, and I'm not even all the way secure. So I'm just checking it. And a couple other things too, making sure my chain's seated properly. It's looking good to me. I may be able to get one more. I think that's probably good though for now, especially because it is gonna adjust as we drive it. Then all we have to do, take our other connection here, bring it up, loop it in, and there we go, nice and secure. So I really do like how the Koenig here works. 
Makes it really easy to get set up. You guys saw that took no time at all, which is great. And I love that I'm not crawling underneath it and not having to get dirty to actually get this guy properly installed. Well, as you guys saw, that installation doesn't take any time at all. I love them staying on the front of the vehicle. Honestly, the Koenigs are my go-to. Uh, they're just really, really easy to use, and I love that self-tensioning device, letting me know that I can go ahead and as I drive, it's going to bring it more in line with my wheel, making sure I have a nice, secure fit. That way, I have no trouble getting out of that muck and mire in no time. Overall, though, guys, just a great little decent set of chains. Again, if you're looking to go a little off-roading in the Bronco, because it's kind of what it's there to do, uh, highly recommend looking at some of those V-bars. But you also are getting this nice little case with the Koenig. These guys are great. They are nice hard plastic, gonna be holding up. Even if you do find yourself just taking these guys off the wheel, throwing them in here. They do have some uh, little water outlets though, so they're not gonna be waterproof or letting that, keeping that water in, but still way better than you start seeing compared to some of the canvas bags out there. A lot of these guys come in, so I do like that for the traveling purposes. It says it comes with a mat and gloves. Those gloves are tiny. They're not gonna protect you from the weather. They're better than nothing, but they're still not that great. Highly recommend grabbing you guys some gloves if you do find yourself putting these tire chains on the side of the road, of course, or just even in your garage, it can be very helpful. Keep that smell and all that grit off of you. Well guys, I think that that about does it for our look at the Koenig XG12 snow tire chains here on our 2021 Ford Bronco. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.